Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday the 10th of December I think. Um, now I used a lot of my John Frieda volumizing mousse today and I think it's definitely done a pretty good job. It is Thursday, I'm not actually sure what day it is. Um, Thursday the 11th of December and yet again I'm feeling like poop. Yeah, I'm sorry that these vlogs seem to be kind of going through this period at the moment, moment where all I seem to do is talk about how unwell I feel, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> I can't explain it, it's just, it's just hard and I don't think people get that, it's, it's like, well, okay, you, you live with a condition, but you take medication, so so why wouldn't you feel well because the medication has all the answers but somehow I just I just don't think it's that simple I can honestly say that I have never felt the same since I've had this today's a tough one because I want to feel really positive because Andy's coming up But I feel like shit. <sighs> I really hate it as well because I'm the type of person I always think well there's people out there living with so much worse than what I have to go through. You know, there's people that People that don't even have a house, that don't even have a family, that are homeless, that, that are addicted to drugs. There's people that are in hospital right now, in life threatening conditions, or suffering with cancer, or getting chemo, or being told that their condition's terminal and, and that their life's going to end. And, and I just think, how dare you? How dare you even feel the way you feel? when your condition isn't life threatening. So I thought about just making these vlogs happy. I was thinking about it as I was walking back to the house from the station. And I thought, people don't want to see you like this because they don't. As much as people might think that they care for others, like really we all have our own interests at heart and that's normal. And that, I guess, is one of the reasons why I spend so much time alone because I don't want to put my problems onto everyone else. I don't want everyone to be thinking, oh, she's always moaning about how crap she feels. So I think, well, if I just spend time by myself and don't tell anybody, then then it's almost like I'll just get through it myself. So I guess that is why I'm such an independent person. I, just spend, I do spend a lot of time alone because I don't want to burden anyone else with how I feel. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> But yeah, I thought about basically trying to keep these vlogs happy and then I thought if I did that there would barely ever be a vlog because honestly, like, five days out of seven a week, sometimes even six, I feel pretty crappy. Yeah, the way I see it is honestly I'm just better to just spend time by myself because I can't pretend that I feel amazing. I'm never going to be able to do that. so. You know, when people ask me how I, how I am, I'm always going to be honest with them and tell them whether I'm feeling crap or whether I'm feeling good and then sometimes I just think that they don't want to hear it. So the more time I spend on myself, then the easier it is, the more I don't have to burden people and people don't have to listen to the same old stuff every single day. You guys are going to get tired of hearing the same old stuff every single day, but I guess if there's anything you can take from this, is that, you know, like myself, it's important to always remind yourself that no matter what you're going through, there's always people suffering out there worse than yourself, so it's important to remember that. On a cheerier note, what do you think of my jumper? This is the one I showed in my last vlog from Topshop and I love it.
Andy's Coffee and my tea. Hi everyone, it's Saturday night. Andy has actually gone out for a run. Um, he's kind of doing like this challenge thing where I think it's 200 miles that he's trying to run over the Christmas period that he's home. So he is away for a 10 mile run at the moment, which rather him than me to be fair because it is absolutely freezing out there. Um, we spent the day just doing like things that we had to do. Um, it was kind of like a bit of a slow morning, but it was one of those mornings where I was actually like doing stuff and the morning just disappeared because we got up about half nine, we didn't even really um, have a long lie. So we got up, did some dishes and then we're kind of running about doing various different things and then we got organised and we left about one o'clock and we basically went to Edinburgh. Um, we took the car in and we went to like a kind of, it's called Go Outdoors. My brother got a present for somebody there. Um, and then after that we took the tram into town and we had a wander. So I've taken some footage of Edinburgh and various different things, I can't really remember what but I'll pop it all in and you can have a little look at that. So we had like some shopping to do and stuff like that because um, I've been really bad this year and I've not actually bought a lot of Christmas presents yet. So I bought my first couple today which is quite good and things are getting a bit more organised. I've just been kind of slacking this year but I don't even feel stressed, I feel really relaxed about it so it's a bit weird. So yeah, we were just doing things that we had to do and we didn't actually really want to venture along Princess Street because it was a Saturday today obviously so town was absolutely bouncing. We were in John Lewis and it was mental, it was so busy so we just kind of did the necessities um, and then on the way back we stopped into Tesco and I had to print some photos for my mum. So that was kind of what the day entailed and yeah, it was just quite a busy one but a good one as well. Um, but I definitely want to go to like Edinburgh do like Christmas markets, like you know, like the German markets that come. Um, I definitely want to go to that. They also have some swings, which you will see some footage of as well because I took some of that. And just a lot going on, and they have a wee ice skating rink as well. So I definitely want to go through and do that, but I'll probably pick a weekday for that because I don't think that the weekends um, are the most sensible time to go and do that. So Andy and I will maybe do that next week. So while Andy is on his run, I'm going to paint my nails and I'm going to use Revlon 620 Bewitching, a lovely red colour and then I basically just use my Leighton Denny top coat, which is this one here. So that's what I'm going to do now, um, yeah, and I'm going to sit and watch some vlogs, so I'll show you that little setup. Before I go, I actually want to show you this candle that I got from Aldi out of all places. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this is it here and it's got like the little Santa getting pulled by the reindeers and it's got a house, it's got all these stars around the top. It's just the cutest little display, I just think it's lovely. It's got like little kids playing in the snow and I'm not going to burn this, I'm just going to use it as a decoration every year. So I'm currently watching one of my absolute obsessions which is Ingrid. I love her Vlogmas videos so I'm watching that and I'm also stuffing my face with Quality Street. Mm, don't tell anybody I'm being so greedy. Really, really bad, but I'm basically just living in this jumper. I actually love it so much. And these are the coziest jammy bottoms from MS. Andy was an absolute babe, right? Because we basically decided we're not going to do Christmas presents because I am pretty skint. And you know, we just decided not to do them. And do you like my nails, by the way? Because I just painted them. Um, but yeah, he actually had already treated me to something, so he gave me it anyway. So he got me an Alex Nanny bracelet. And it says, because I love you. It's just the sweetest thing ever. Um, and I don't actually have any Alex Nanny bracelets with writing, so he couldn't have picked better.
Say hi, Jilly. Hey. <laughs> They're so cute. I know, isn't that cute? Oh. What? I know, I like the wee pink ones and the wee gingerbread oh, men. Look at the wee gingerbread men. Red! Blue! <laughs> Cover much ground, dark game by the pound. Getting paid as a 40 each and every day. True player way. I can't get her out of my mind. Just where you guys go, say what? Girl <laughs> <laughs> all the time, well, well. East side to the west side, pushing fat rides. Well, ain't no surprise. She got tricks in the stash, stacking up the cash. Fast when it comes to the gas. By no means average It's on when she's got to have it Well baby you're a perfect ten I wanna get in Can I get down so I can win I like the way you work it No diggity I got to bag it, bag it up